Welcome to the Sneaker Podcast, a show where a bunch of guys sit around a table to talk life, lifestyle, music, and all things sneakers. So sit back, turn it up, and let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Sneaker Podcast. This is Season 6, Episode 11, and I'm ID alongside my brother from another mother, Christopher Chu. What up, Chris? Yo. We also got Corral in the house. What up, Clo? Hey, guys. And Sean Collard. Hey, now. Hey, now, boys. Full squad, full my squad. friends. Oh, shit. Yeah. Look at this. That's good that two weeks in a row? Faces. It is. It we is congratulate awesome. ourselves for just, you know, <laughs> for showing up. You know, yeah. Well, what we back. promised, to, what we promised the audience already. Like, yeah. 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 People will appreciate it. That's for sure. Right. Uh, guys, it's good to see you. Um, uh, let's. And before we get to the weather talk, mm. uh, let's start the podcast like we always do, and that's with what we wore on feet today. Me uh, was working. It's an Easter Sunday that we are recording this podcast, so uh, I was at work today. And uh, wore a pair of Ultra Boost 1.0s in the core black colorway. Oh. Uh, kind of my go to right. weekend sneaker, especially when you're at the shop, you know, because it's just easy to get around, super comfortable throughout the day, and your feet are not killing you after an eight hour shift. Ah, uh, yes. So, big Very perks good. to wearing an Ultra Boost. Very uh, Easter y there. Mm. Mm. Uh, Triple black. Yeah. Yeah. yeah core yeah. black. So. Core black. And everyone was kind of <laughs> dressed up. Me. I was literally just wearing black. Bah humbug. <laughs> bah humbug. It's my, it's my only thing. But it's cool because when I'm selling uh, new Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost 21s, I can kind of throw back and be like, hey, these are like how it like originally started like this, mm. blah, 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 mm. you know, and chat them up a little bit. So uh, right. you could place the new Ultra Boost on the floor next to your 1.0 exactly. core black and say, look how much more these pop compared exactly. to mine. Wouldn't you rather have these? Way better than these. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, guys, that's what I want on feet today. Who wants to go next? Uh, I go, I, I, go ahead, oh, Chris. Hey, uh, no, uh, it's, it's all yeah, you. Uh, sure. Okay. All right, I'll go. Uh, so I wore today <laughs> some New Balance 992 in the gray OG colorway, I guess. Ah, yeah. Lace swap? Lace swap? Yes. No lace swap. No lace swap. Not no. yet. I had to ask. Clean, simple. Will you ever lace laces. swap them? Are they, nope. are they cream? Are they cream in them right now? No, no, no. There's only nope. so many pairs of cream laces one man can have. I assume uh, I disagree. Four, four, four. That's it. Just four. four. For now. A max four. Max four yeah. on, on cream laces. On yeah. Max four. Uh huh. Well, four cream laces coming up. Yep. Yeah. Four pairs. Four ah. Pairs. Ah. There you go. And that's been lace talk. <laughs> <laughs> Always such an interesting topic. Yes, I mean, yes. ouch. Um, uh, yeah. Very nice clothes. Very nice wear. Um, Thank you. Uh, you guys are just on this New Balance grind lately. Right. Uh, it's weird because, yes, I did wear some New Balance today. But uh, I no, normally not. But I think it's because of the, the recent news that popped off. Uh, I ha- today I wore some New Balance 850. It's, I don't know if we can call it an Aimé Léon d'Or or not, on some Gray sites they're... Area. Yeah, and some sites they're tagged as being a pair. Some, some sites they do not recognize them as a pair. I think they were released at the store originally, maybe one of the first stores that uh, launched them. Okay. And so they were kind of called them, but I doubt it because then they, they popped off... They, sorry, they popped up at all the different boutiques. So I would doubt that a true Aimé Léon d'Or would be so available. Ah, true. Right. Very sought after. Right. So that's what I worked hmm. today. Hey, uh, Chloe, how many Emilion Dorés do you have <laughs> under your laptop right now? Um, <laughs> the fact that you have to think about it is enough for us. They're on my bed. Oh, okay. They're not part yeah. of my desk right now. Okay, not <laughs> Your yet. sneaker desk. Not yet, at least. <laughs> yeah. uh, close project. sneaker desk for everyone's uh, wondering out there is literally just a pile of sneakers yeah. that he's gotten over the boxes. past month. Not in their boxes, just fucking sneakers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a huge pile it's of just sneakers. a pile of sneakers. 
Um, uh, all right, moving on. Let's move on to Mr. Sean Collard. What do you want to oh, do today? Damn it! I thought I was hoping you'd skip me. Uh, uh, you know what? This week it's it's yeah. Easter Sunday. It's Easter Sunday, you know, uh, so I didn't go anywhere. But I did go on the treadmill. So hey, you know what that means, everybody. You know Nike what that Epic means. Epic React Triple Ooh. White, the only triple white pair of sneakers I own, and my hips are feeling fine. Thank you very much. The only That's triple good, man. white pair that will probably stay triple white. Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're using them just, just on the on treadmill. treadmill. Yeah, just on the treadmill. Exactly. Can, cool. can I ask what? Uh, prompted you to start uh, the exercising on the treadmills uh i'm old mm-hmm. <laughs> i was like really you should get an answer oh is that where your mind was going mike thanks no, man. i, can I say love it. you Kent. i love no, you no no i and i thought because you're getting a little plump that's all no no <laughs> that Luckily, COVID. I'm, I'm not, i've never had an issue with being plump but uh it's i i just you know i'm i i'm old i gotta start moving my body that's right mm. <laughs> gotta get the joints moving right yeah so. yeah yeah i've gone through waves where i used to just like to play sports and that would be my my athletic uh stuff my my exercise yeah i don't play many sports or ever sports ever anymore really mm-hmm. so uh i guess a two year, year or two years ago two years ago i guess we bought a treadmill and um it's been perfect because with COVID and all that stuff, man, it's been yeah. wonderful. Yeah. No doubt. I, when the winter, I can still get, keep moving a little bit there and it's good. Good stuff. Kind of makes me sad because you, you don't get the weather. You know, you're, you're in your basement or wherever you yeah, can treadmill yeah. and, and, you, and you the miss out was, on the weather. You're right. Then the weather was, has been beautiful lately. I have to mm. say very, very nice. A little chilly, a little chilly, not, not mm. too warm. Uh, not sure what the dew point is or the, or the barometric pressure is, but uh, I think it's the the uh, the 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 gusts, the gusts of the yes. winds. They're coming in yeah. from like I well, don't when know you south. Look, when you look at the east, the, the, the east, trage- of the uh, jet stream, it's right. coming. From, it's going. It goes from west to east, right? So <laughs> we got a warm front. We got a warm front. Are we recording right now? I, I'm not. I do have a warm front. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I have Mike has a warm front. I yeah. Yeah. have a, a very warm front. Yeah. Uh, I've always wondered what the Epic React feels like because I've always had people compare, try to compare it to an Ultra Boost, uh, and yeah. I've always wondered what that felt like. I kind of was into the you. triple black one at one point, but you've tried an Ultra Boost at Outlet in Florida, I before, mean, right? Not not long enough to uh, be able to remember. Yeah, what, you probably that was put like them on two, away. three years ago. <laughs> These are burning. No, I was actually going to buy a pair. My feet. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I don't remember what you they did. felt like. And I got my my Epic React long after I tried those on, so I couldn't I couldn't tell you. Whoops, before or the after the hype. Yeah, yeah. So you so. you're wondering what is better, is being ultra better or being epic better? <laughs> I, mean, I think epic comparison. is probably better. <laughs> wow. It's epic. Wow. Well, it's ultra. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Whatever. All right, guys, it's uh, that time again. Pull out your chairs. Pull out your snacks. It's time for no shoes. Wow. There was there was like there was like special effects happening there. Yep. Right. I put an you're, epic right. zoom on there. If you go if you go, only check neat. out YouTube for one thing, it's to see Mike's new shoes segment. It's, yeah. Yeah. Because That's the zooming in and the zooming out, it's it's like professional. It's a view, my friend. It's, it's professional. A it's a view. It's uh guys, new shoes. Uh no new shoes for myself. But it's it's coming soon. I'm telling you, I got something mm. in the works. Uh, who would like to go first on the new shoes? I only have one pair, so I can jump so, in quick. Okay, I only have Chris. one pair, so you go. You go ahead. Right. Get into our bot. So uh, recently, I I signed on to do a little bit of photo taking ah. for Puma, okay. and they sent me two pairs of sneakers to shoot. I cannot show one of them, but I can show the other pair. Uh, and it is the Puma Hoops whoa, whoa, Dreamer whoa. 2 in the yellow colorway. So the first is- Dreamer 2 that they put out. It's the J. Cole collab. Look at that. Very Dreamer. yellow. Yeah. So it's a, per- it's a performance shoe. I, uh, when I first saw pictures, I was like, oh, man, that looks like a, like a boot, you know? And when I got them in hand, I, I liked them a, a more and more and more and more. The more I had to shoot these, the more I liked them. Very nice. So, and um, I really like what Puma's doing. So for me, this is, uh, I'm, I'm glad they sent it to me. Like when they told me, yo, it'd be for like Puma hoops, I'd be like, yes, let's do it. Yeah. Huh. So there was that. Question. Yeah. Does, does it come with uh, several laces? It Ooh. does not. Okay. No. One like you mean yeah. other than yellow? Yes, other than yellow. No, no. It only came with a yellow pair on. Yeah. Ah. 
they're very modern looking. Well, very sleek, very. The the outsole is very recognizable, like midsole, outsole portion. I think from the Dreamer one to this pair, and all the any of the RS models in Puma kind of have that same kind of okay. chunkiness to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which if you're looking for a pair of sneakers that has something in terms of cushioning and protection, I like I like the 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 concept behind it. I'm no I'm no wear tester. Oh, whoa. But I don't think, really, I don't shoes. think any of us are wear testers. <laughs> big, big shoes. How does we it feel wear, on your treadmill? We wear, yeah, we, we just wear, wear sneakers. Yeah, we're, we're not testing wear. anything yet. We don't test. <laughs> yeah. We tested. Nice. There you go. They yeah. look like tanks. They, they look do. like yeah. street ball shoes. They, they're yeah. good. Like, the, you can tell, like, that the bottom portion is, like, sturdy, sturdy, but the upper is not heavy in any way, and they're quite... When I put my foot in it, it felt quite protected. I well, I haven't played in them because, you know, I haven't been out times. there. I haven't right. been out there. But, the uh, yeah. yeah. Mm, I don't nice. know. We'll That's see what happens. Good, very nice pickup. Very and the nice. other one you can't talk about. So yep. stay, oh, tuned wow. stay tuned. Stay Boom. tuned. Look at that. Cliff Cliff another Cliff pair of Pumas? Pardon? It's a pair of Pumas. It is another pair of Pumas. Mm. You got them. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha. Very, uh, nice. very nice. Stay tuned for that, everyone, yeah. at Christopher.chew on whoa, the gram whoa, whoa. if you don't hear it on the pod. Uh, Mr. Sean Collard. Yes. So I, uh, I do have a pair, a very surprise pickup, a very unexpected pickup for me. Ultra uh, boost. So <laughs> uh, what's that? Some ultra I boost. boost. Oh, that would be really unexpected. No, it's, not, uh, it's definitely not uh, any other brand. It's not, it's not an off brand for me. Uh, so the good people at the closet Inc here in Canada. Oh yes. Um, they occasionally, I'm not sure how regularly they do this, but I've noticed it a couple of times they send out, uh, email newsletter letters. And in those, some of these newsletters, uh, emails, not text, not on their Instagram, it's just an email. So you have to subscribe to them. Uh, they'll put out, they'll, they'll actually launch a couple of pairs that have been released in the past that they have stock on. Damn. So, uh, and all, all it is, they, they list, they show the picture of the sneaker and then a list of sizes underneath and you click on the size and it immediately adds it to cart. And you just check out. It's, Whoa. it's incredible. Whoa. So a, a, a pair popped up that I really wanted. I didn't want it when it released, but I couldn't get it because they sold out in, in seconds. Uh, and, uh, they, this popped up, I hit my size, boom, added it. It went right to cart, checked out. And I was not, like I said, was not expecting to get this retail gang. I'm fucking excited. Retail gang. Oh yeah. Yeah. Retail, oh retail my gosh. Gang. Yeah. 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 So see if you can tell by the box. Oh, oh, that's shit. the uh, Jap Japan. Ah, we'll, well, thanks for ruining the surprise, Chris. Wow. We asked if I, we could tell <laughs> from the, the box. Yes, the Air Jordan <laughs> One Silver, uh, Japan. I guess. Yeah, Dude, that's uh, sick. yeah. So I'm showing them on. If you guys check out YouTube, I'm showing them there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I was very excited. I, and I went through, I'm like, is this really happening? Am I actually going to get this? Is this real life? <laughs> and they, cool. they, I got a shipping confirmation the next morning. So uh, it, here they are in hand. I'm very excited. I didn't think I was going to own these because they were, like I said, they sold out pretty quick when they first released. Uh, but yeah, so shout out to Ch the Closet Inc. That's amazing. For, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's been uh, several months. Yeah. It was a 2020 release. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So very, very excited you, to have them. Very what? excited. Oh, fine. Did it just like pop up and you just? I like, literally, I just, I was checking my emails and there was a, an email popped up from the Closet Inc. and I was scrolling through it because they had like sales and stuff like that. And towards the bottom of the email, Damn. there's a picture of like I can't remember what they call, they call it something. There's like some sort of name they do for this sort of launch. And uh, it, there, there was the Air Jordan One Japan Silver Joints and uh, a list of sizes underneath. Click on my size eleven. It added it right to cart. It went, oh. like it took me right to their website, and it was immediately in the cart. And I just checked out immediately, and it was uh, there. They are, boom. Retail. That's a pretty cool. Good, good eye, man. Good spot. Yeah, thank you, that. thank you, thank you. That's so kind of like emails. eagle like. Sniper. I'm almost, I'm almost regretting telling this to people because they're gonna be now. They're gonna be selling. They're, everybody's gonna be checking their emails from the closet ink, and I'm not gonna be able to get the pairs that I want from these watches. So. I mean, not enough people. I'm, listen I'm helping to this you guys podcast. out. Check your emails. Check your emails. <laughs> and, and when you see an email from the closet ink. Don't just like delete Don't disregard. It. Scroll through to yeah. see if there's any sneakers in there you could actually get. It's very we'll cool. Do. We'll They're do. testing you. They're testing you. It's what you, what you, what what you have over there. It's a you know it's a great way to avoid the bots. That's a it's, it's 100%. a perfect way to avoid the yeah. bots. Yep. 
And is, what a great like out of nowhere shock drop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I guess I've seen that. Love done shock there was a, It happened about maybe a. I don't know. Again, I don't know how often they do this, but I, I'm sure I saw it about a month before. And it was a, there was they were they had one of the pairs they had was, I think it was maybe the Amrax 95s, the neons. And they didn't right. know my size though, but I just clicked the link to see like any size to see if it would work, and it went. It just goes right to cart. It's incredible, and you just check out. It's boom. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, very, very cool. <laughs> it's like their own version of the. What a, the confirmed app or sneakers app? <laughs> yeah, except it's a lot better. <laughs> it just, <laughs> it's surprised. Yeah. It just sends you to a something. That's awesome. It sends it to their website, and but it's their cart on the web. It's the, you're right immediately in cart. It's crazy. That's amazing. Check and out check right out. away. Yeah, done. Uh, Clarell, anything? Any news? Oh yeah. I just yes. Did I. Everyone's getting into it. So I got the pink pair that pink Chris joints. got nice last week. I got him. I finally got him in the mail. Beauty. Um, these are the Aimé Leon d'Or New Balance 1300s. Nice. In the New pink uh, colorway. So nice. Gorgeous. It's a bit of an Easter colorway. Yeah. Oh, true, true, true. Yes. Yes. They're so good in pink. And yeah. That, that the material on it is just next level. I can't wear. To, I can't wait to rock these. Yeah, those are very nice. Got all my fits ready for this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And the second pair of new shoes Ooh. is the green pair. <laughs> yeah, I also got the green pair. Although, is that white or is that? Is it, oh. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, <laughs> bitch ass! Wow, well, on Easter no less, Easter Sunday no less. Lost my mic. Yeah. <laughs> the microphone went down. Everyone, okay. it's okay. hot mic. Mike's down. Hot Mike's hot down. Mic. <laughs> hot mic. <laughs> Not that mic. Hot the mic. mic. Yeah. Uh, is it, those are 3M hits on that? Yes, on the it looks on, like oh, it's wow. given yeah. quite a shine. Yeah. yeah. There. Boom. No, nice. the N is very. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was just white and it was like, but it's not 3M. That's very nice. Very nice. Do you, yeah. Out of the I two, uh, which one is your favorite? I think pink has got the edge right now because hmm. I've got more fits going through my head. Oh, right. okay. Right. But right. Uh, we'll have to wait and see until I. Later. I'm hunting the green pair now, so yeah, yeah. super happy, super happy, and I got another pair in the mail waiting. Ooh. I was kind of hoping I would have them for today. No go. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh man, he's he's not joking. If you guys could see his face on YouTube, you t- you can tell he's not <laughs> That's joking. Uh, the <laughs> this is podcast on I YouTube, by the way. This is the pickup of the year. I'm like oh really? I think I might actually be done for the year. Just just on yeah. this shoe. Really? It's, it is April though, so we'll see. Yeah, and I've yes. heard that before. Yes, like the past yeah five years. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time when Klo said he'd only pick up four pairs? Yeah, oh, that was my favorite. That didn't happen. <laughs> he was done by like it's, January. It 5th. balanced out in the end because I let go of some shoes. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, balanced yeah, out. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't really that count. Doesn't, there's no yeah. balancing. Whatever you makes say. you whatever makes you sleep at night, Klo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, all right, boys, let's move it on. Chloe, I bet you with those, uh, those new New Balance that you're going to be uh, pairing it up with a nice pair of quality pants, my friend. Mm-hmm. You. What, uh, what you got planned for those? Maybe some cargo pants? Maybe some, some cargo joggers? Combat essential, joggers? Essential, essential joggers. I can't oh. wait to wear my green essential joggers with that pink pair. That does work uh, well. Yes. Even, his, even his green color. on green would not be... Overly Wouldn't cool. go astray. No. Yeah. No, green on uh, pink. The, ch- the green. 2.0 Chino jogger as well. Ooh. Heater. Heater, Ooh. heater, heater. Go check it out. Quality.com. They're t- they've been taking care of us since day one almost, boys. I, uh, I've i said many, many times that the utility pant from Quality is like the pant for me. Yes. yes. But I recently wore my minimized utility uh. pant. Yeah, on on more than one occasion, and it it it's it it might supplant. It's a notch up. Oh, I don't know. They're neck and neck. I, I, worn I have a pair. Stock. I have a pair. I haven't worn mine yet. I, I really wore my like utility the pants fit. the other day at work, but I haven't worn. I haven't worn my my minimized yet. Yeah, like the look excited. is different. Yeah, but the fit, the the bottom is slightly less tapered, mm-hmm. and it just I don't know. It sits atop my sock just. Beautifully. Mm, so, mm. I don't know, man. Get get your pair out and try it on. And for sure, for sure. Exactly. People, yeah. if you're listening to this podcast and you're like, man, I'm looking for some pants to go with my sneakers. Well, quality.com has you set 
when it comes to pants for your sneakers. They got everything. Go check it out, quality.com. Use that coupon code POD20. That's POD20. Yeah. Get 20% off your order. The shipping is fantastic. If you're over 100 bucks, that's free North American shipping, which is amazing. Go check it out, quality.com. Follow them on the gram, at quality, and they will take care of your behind, just like they take care of ours. <laughs> yeah. And look, I don't know. There's their, their women's line too. Oh, I saw recently they have like, they have like their new, uh, I think their spring stuff coming spring, out. Summer. Yeah. It's cool. Like the, mm-hmm. they look like sweatpants. They look like jogger pants. They have mm-hmm. these, this tie dye look to them. Yeah, it's yep. nice stuff. Yeah, it's nice. And, don't and can forget, I also, can I, sorry, sir, Mike, can I also just say uh, now available at, if you're in Montreal, now available a uh, good friend Sam Tabak. Yes. Yeah, I like Sam that. I like that. Tabak, I love that. Local Sam local boy, local businesses partnering up. I love that. Also yeah. check it out at Foot Locker Canada. Go get it at uh, Nordstrom for the ladies. Yes. And uh, yeah, go check it out. They have everything for everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, quality.com. I'll say it one more time. Quality.com. Now let's get into what has been flooding our feeds. We can still go on that New Balance train because some big – there's a New Balance – at a new, new balance. balance, yes. <laughs> you like that? I've been working on that. There's a new balance at New Balance. Chris, take us for a journey. Tell us what's going on at New Balance and big news. Yeah, the big news today was announced that Petty Santis, uh, the founder of Aimé Léon d'Or, has been named, I think, the director of New Balance Made in the USA for, and it will begin 2022. Very cool. So he's gonna head that. Uh, I think. I think part of his team or most of his team is going with him to 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 take care of that uh, section of uh, New Balance. So I don't know. For me, very exciting. Um, I did hear that some 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 serious 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 New Balance heads were lukewarm to the whole idea. I don't know about that. I'm not a big enough fan or big enough aficionado to actually, I don't know, have a serious opinion about it. Yeah. But I like it. I like, because I like Aimé Léon Dahl. So I don't know. I, and not, uh, not that quality is like low or anything, but I think that the quality on New Balance's made in USA models are just going to go further <clears throat> up, up and up. It, yeah. Like you 100% made in the USA or made in the UK, all those, Pairs, quality is is very super high to start with. Uh, reflected in the price point, totally. You know? Like you pay yeah. for it, but you get the quality exactly. Um, so if you're if they don't plan on changing the price, but they're gonna inject a bit more, I don't know, different textures, different materials. His little Aimé Léon d'Or uh, touch to it, then exactly cool. Like he, I don't know, he's not gonna be the main designer. That's, I don't think that's the point. He's just going to manage the direction of the whole thing, right? So Put his little touch on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I it mean, takes, though, to take something to the next level. I so, did uh, joke I to uh, the Traffic, Traffic Boys, Boys, Traffic Boys. Traffic Boys about it. I was like, yo, does this technically make every New Balance made in the USA a uh, million d'or? <laughs> you know? Or right. what if they make... Uh, a collab. Great, NB has a collab with Kith, and then technically you have Fi <laughs> and Santis, like two brains yeah, on the same oh project. Gosh. So, you know. <laughs> you guys over at the Traffic Points would be able to predict that a lot more than we would. We're also guessing, so I don't know. <laughs> Possibly you. Possibly you. Possibly yeah. you. Yeah, keep your eyes open for that. That would be a crazy collab. Oh my I don't goodness. know. What What do you think, uh, Clo? I know. I know. Uh, New Balance. You just spoke of two pairs that you picked up from Emile Onda. So, what are you thinking? I about think this? Um, Kith. If Kith does anything with New Balance, it's just going to be strictly Kith. You could You could tell he's going to have right. all the decisions in his hands with that that shoe. Yeah, there yeah, ain't yeah, going to yeah. be no collab. <laughs> um, as for New Balance, maybe the direction of the shoes is instead of it being so OG and classic that mm. they just might add some different hits of color yeah. and uh, just keep those, sim- those same classic silhouettes, but maybe put out some colors that might be a bit more like 
more wearable with fits, you know, yeah. mm. not necessarily a Melian door, like color schemes or their palette or whatever, but uh, just some, some different hits. Like uh, maybe we'll see some, I don't know, burgundies or tans or I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Instead of just that gray. Yeah. Or that Navy. There's a lot of gray in Navy. That's for sure. <laughs> It's their signature good, colors. What do you want, <laughs> man? No, it's good. It's good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. Maybe we'll see some old silhouettes come back. Never know. I mean, it's look, it's for 2022. So we, there's a full uh, nine months before we get to it. So, oh, wait. Ten months. What? Eight months. <laughs> Welcome podcast. to the weather podcast. <laughs> and the weather talk. Yeah, we'll get there eventually, guys. <laughs> you, you just wait. You just wait. All right, guys, moving on. Uh, have you guys seen it online? Are you guys ready? No. Everybody get up. It's time to slam now. No, see, that's not we what we got getting. a real jam going down. We're not Welcome getting to the space jam. That's over. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's not what's happening. Yeah, it's not what's happening. No. Uh, has everyone seen the trailer? Yes. Space Jam 2. LeBron. Yes. LeBron two, James. Like two minute, over two minute trailer. Mm. Yes. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's because. I really like the first one and it's kind of like ingrained in our head because it's been so long since the first one came out too. Um, not a fan, not a fan. Don't like the yeah. direction. Yeah. I don't, you know I don't, I, mean? uh, I don't listen. I, 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 if you follow me on Instagram, you, uh, it's, every once in a while I'll, I'll let loose and uh, express my uh, disdain for LeBron James. Sorry guys for those of you who are LeBron James fans, but LeBron James. Uh, this, this is not why I don't like this trailer. Uh, it looks like a, a shitty movie. <laughs> and I know I'm not the target audience for it, but uh, it just looks like they're just trying to throw like everything at you. Like, mm. just, like towards the end of the trailer, it was like, what the hell is happening? what's going on here? I mean, obviously there's, there's context, I guess you have to see it to understand what's going on. But it just feels like they're just trying to throw. He's a cartoon character. He, no, he's the real LeBron James. No, <laughs> there's 15 million things coming at the screen. It's uh, yeah. I don't know. About, again, this is for kids, I guess, mostly. And, uh, and I guess whatever, uh, 40 year olds like lebron james yeah. um i don't know it, it looks like trash to me and it's not just looney tunes apparently yeah yeah i, I that yeah. was odd i'll be honest with you like when the original space jam came out i was tw- i was in 96 so i was 23 22 23 so i wasn't like i was the target audience for that movie either right. i liked it because the- michael jordan was in it but it wasn't like oh i've got to go see space jam michael i was kind of like why is he in a Looney Tunes movie? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why is he doing that? I know there's a whole, they did commercials with Bugs Bunny and stuff like that. So I, I got the kind of crossover, but it seemed like a little bit more, uh, less, it was a bit less involved. Like it was like a simpler movie. It seemed like, I, I don't, again, I haven't seen, obviously I haven't seen the new Space Jam. So maybe it'll come, it'll make more sense when we see the movie, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Whoever has HBO Max can enjoy it, but, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't see it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get LeBron James, though. I don't get it. <laughs> Not a lot of people do. No. I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't watch the trailer. Really? Did no, better, I don't. I, don't I really don't feel that I need to. Okay. Uh, I get it. And it's not about not giving him a chance or anything. You know yeah. what? He was really good in Trainwreck. He really yes. was. Yeah, yeah, he was. Fantastic. Super funny. And yeah, uh, all the SNL appearances, he's he's yeah. like a funny dude. He is. Yeah. He is. And he can act for like what they portray him as during yeah. those roles. So uh, very, very, very cool for him. But what I don't like is like get your own movie. It didn't have idea. to be that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like he's trying to set himself apart from Michael Jordan as yeah, in terms of exactly. being the best basketball player ever. Don't do another Space Jam. <laughs> yeah. And don't I really, try to follow in his the footsteps. The point of me bringing up how old I was when Space Jam, the first Space Jam originally came out, is that I don't really have like an allegiance to Space Jam. Like I don't, I'm not like a massive Space Jam fan. Uh-huh. I, I like it because Michael Jordan's in it, but I'm not like, I, I'm a diehard, like, oh, my Space Jam's the first one's the best one, man. I don't really care about Space Jam that much. It's yeah. cool, a piece of history for Michael Jordan, but I'm not like a Space Jam hardcore guy. Yeah. So it's not like I'm I'm wanting it to fail because I love this first one so much. It's just that I, it just I don't like you like Chris. You're saying exactly what you're saying. 
why another Space Jam? Why? <laughs> yeah, because uh, all in all, the the story of Space Jam One wasn't all that great. It was just no, the no, it was the novelty, novelty of having Michael Jordan yes, on the, the same court as the Looney Tunes. <laughs> yeah, Looney Tunes, which I love. Like I love yeah. Looney Tunes. Yeah, me too. But the whole, it's a it's not a great story. <laughs> Like, no, no, wow. no, no. His arm extends and dumps. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. The shoes were great. <laughs> it kind of it dove into like a weird time in, well, in the original Space Jam with, you know, Michael Jordan stepping away from, from basketball yeah, and that getting too, into baseball. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, do you really want to be reminded about that? Because yeah, exactly. I'm sure for you, Sean, that was a, mm, a, that was weird a hard time. Dark times, dark times. Exactly. But Actually, they, now that you bring that up, that was sort of why I wasn't really a huge uh, fan of Space Jam was because... I was like, okay, he left basketball, and now he's doing a Looney Tunes movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what next? Playing a baseball Pepsi commercial? And he's doing a Looney Tunes movie? And but they even used back. it. They used it in the movie that he was playing. Right, ball. right. Yeah. Although I guess by the time it came out, he was already back, right? Because it was '96, so he was already back. I guess. Yeah, but it was yeah. funny when the catchers like tell him which 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 pitches he's getting. Exactly. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. But Spoiler like, alert to all the yeah, kids sorry. out there that have you know sorry. It, was the it, was, it is the best movie ever made. I will say that. <laughs> and Bill Murray. Oh, and Bill Murray. Murray. Hey, Charles Barkley's performance. Larry and Sean Bird. Bradley, and Sean Bradley. Yeah. And Muggsy uh, Bogues. Muggsy, Muggsy Bogues. Bogues. Uh, so, Larry but, Johnson. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, down the line, maybe I'll watch like the Space Jam 2. And, you know. Maybe. Look, like there's there's no there's when no it's on, when it's on Netflix and I'm not paying for it. Yeah. There's no uh, movie with a basketball player like an NBA player in it that's all that stupendous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the best one for me was He Got Game. Mm-hmm. Yes, right with Ray Allen. Yes, yeah, with Ray Allen. Yeah, Denzel. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was a more realistic kind of movie. Though. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. I, all, all yeah, the, I like, like those movies that are like. Well, I mean, listen, again, we're we're it's for kids. These movies are for kids. So I mean, right. it's not we're not really supposed to fully enjoy them. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. But did you see but, the? Uh, I don't know, Uncle Drew. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle it Drew wasn't Drew. that great. Diary? It was no, just it wasn't like great. let's just see them play ball. I want to see yeah. that. Oh, Blue yeah. Chips was good, but again, it was like real. It's more realistic. Right, than, uh, right, right, right. Then yeah. Anyways. Uh, we digress. Me, we digress. Yeah, the yeah. best uh, basketball uh, athlete in the movie is uh, Game of Death. Game of Death. What oh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, Kareem oh. Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> See, that would have sounded better. right. Yeah, he yeah. was also great in uh, Airplane. <laughs> awesome in Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> this is the movie podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we, all we do is list movies. We don't talk about the movie. No, we don't talk about yeah. them. life, lifestyle, music. Movie and lists, movie lists, lists and all weather that. and all weather. things sneakers. Weather and all, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, gonna have to work good. on the intro. Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh. But I want to know from the listeners: Are you excited for Space Jam Two? Let us know. Send us a DM. Let yeah. us know in the comments of this video on the YouTube's, and let us know if uh, you're excited for Space Jam Two. Did you see Space Jam One? Maybe some people haven't even seen Space Jam One. Probably. Uh. But the thing is, uh, another thing with Space Jam Two is this is going to be a marketing mad like monster yeah because like more so now than it was mm. back in the day even though it was back in the day because it had like it was a pretty big launch back then right but i think now with lebron uh with everyone everyone else that's in the movie it's going to go crazy well it's yeah it's an easy pitch you just include some product here product there and you know there you go Speaking of product, have you heard about the new LeBron 8 Low Miami Nights? Boom. <laughs> More LeBron talk. Why don't we get into that? Nice segue. Uh, originally uh, rumored to release, or it was rumored last year in 2020, uh, but is now returning the Miami Nights. This is LeBron 8 Low. Le- fan of Lows. I like the LeBron 8 uh, Low for myself. I like it. It was our when it first came out. It was all the rage, like the the sprite colorway. The this Miami Knights color was super hard to get. I feel like mm-hmm. LeBron's in general back then were really like really popular. Yeah, they were just heating up right after the uh, LeBron Seven, Seven. success. Yep. Uh, because of the and then I think the South Beach South Beach came South out. Beach. Yeah. South yeah. Beach Six was it? Six is, or no eight? Corks. Sorry, so was the eight? Was it? Yeah, was the eight? Sorry. And uh, th- I think there's also rumors of like the hardwood uh, classics coming out, which is like the Knicks colorway, and there's like mm-hmm. other colorways of that pack. I don't know 
see, I'm not a LeBron fan. I don't think there's any on uh, the podcast the at all. Like, <laughs> huge. I'm talking about LeBron sneaker. Yeah. Fan. Um, I have owned a pair of LeBron. You've That's owned. A, yeah. I've owned one pair of LeBrons. Right. They are now gone. Yeah. So if, if anyone's a, like a, <laughs> still a LeBron sneaker fan, I'd yeah. like to find out how meaningful it is that they're retroing some of these colorways. Yeah. For me, I'm like, well, I think it's past its point or it's not the right timing. I don't or maybe know. the people that didn't have the chance to grab them before can now finally get them. Yeah, you but know, it's been how many years since? It's what are LeBron they at? LeBron, what are they? LeBron 17? I stopped counting like after a, 12. It, they're, they're way up there. Yeah, I stopped so counting after 12. It's been 10 years or so. Is that yep. too long of a time for it to, uh, to retain its, uh, its sought afterness? I don't know. The only LeBron sneaker that I came close to wanting to get, because I've hated them all. <laughs> pretty much uh yeah. was the lebron nine south beach yeah oh yeah yeah you guys remember that one yep. i lined up for it at, oh, uh, did you really yep i lined up for it at uh at a store that we <laughs> shall never name again there you go right yeah. right because it doesn't exist it doesn't need to exist no and uh it practically doesn't practically. um but fall. yeah i didn't line up but i, I there there were in the summer of that whatever that year that was those came out there were i was in florida uh my parents place in florida and uh they were like pretty they were still around uh at some of the malls um and so i was like oh, am i gonna buy a lebron james sneaker <laughs> uh and then i bought like six other pairs of, of other nikes and i was like oh i, I guess I not for, i forced myself out of it <laughs> I it was mercy purchases it was yeah exactly <laughs> If I just I spend enough money, I won't be able to buy these LeBrons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Chloe. Cool. I drove to Albany to line up. Oh, wow. Well, not for that pair, but that pair was launching the same day. Right, right. I actually drove down to get the AJKOs in uh, black and no red way. and in white and in the Chicago color. White. Right. Oh, Jeez. wow. Yeah. What was, was that, 2013? It was I guess or earlier. Yeah. 12? I think it was 12. It's- 12? 2012, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was hilarious. I was I was in line for that. Everybody else wanted the South Beach. South wow. Beach. Wow. Hmm. I was like, go ahead for your South Beach. I want those two. Those <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Got them. Nice. Or so those Jordan ones, ones had, weren't a thing back then. Did they come like sort of pre-vintaged? Those ones that that uh, I know there was AJCOs that came no, pre-vintage. No, oh, we're going no. there. Those ones were not pre-vintage. Okay, good. Because I uh, can I just I I I I got I can't I have to bring this up again. I know I've brought, I've brought it up before. Release the can't. demons. It's Release getting worse. Demons. It's getting worse. People, this this uh, fake vintage stuff. Have you have you seen this on the on the on the Instagrams? Yeah. Every day. Okay, so they've they've, they've gone <laughs> they've gone from they've gone from listen I've I've initially I was like that kind of looks cool. I like what they're I like I don't like it, but I, I can see. They're kind of making it look vintage. <clears throat> Dudes, they're making it look like these shoes have been water damaged in a storage locker accident. Like I'm talking about, like I saw a pair of Jordan 4s that were supposedly quote unquote vintage. Uh, they were made vintage, the brand new 2020 Air Jordan, the Fire Red 4s. Uh, and they, like, they made the patch look like it had like water, a water stain on it. I'm like, when does the mad- madness end? When does it end? I don't get it. Listen, if you're into it, have, have fun. I don't care what you do with your sneakers. To each I don't understand it. Somebody explain right. it to me. Okay. Just, that's all I want. That's really all I want. Somebody explain what uh, the, the fad is about. Like, why do you, why? I, I made a post on our uh, OG support group Instagram stories, and, I, and it basically, in a nutshell, said if you just wear your sneakers like a lot, and uh, you, for over a couple of years, you won't have to go ape shit on your yeah. sneakers with, a, with some yellow paint and, a, and, a, and some sandpaper. Yeah. You know, because for me, I don't know if you guys are of the same mindset I am, but for me, it's like I want, if I, my sneakers are beat up, I want to know why they were beat up. If they look beat up, it's because I put a lot of years. Yeah. I took them on trips. Uh, you know, I, road trips, I, I walked you know, I remember I stepped in mud that time outside of school, like, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, it's in the story is mine. I don't want like, Oh, look how vintage my sneakers and beat up. They look, I took some sandpaper to it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah. Now, Mike, I know, I know Mike. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned once, I think 
maybe it was off the pod on the pod. I don't remember, but you, you're one to, when you, you're a musician, you, yes. you have a lot of guitars I do. and you're one to want to look, make your guitars look beat up and you'll actually make them look beat up when they're brand new. Right. Am I wrong? Or is that uh, true? Yes, this is true. So when it comes to, uh, we'll start with the sneakers thing for a second. Yeah. Um, I agree with you. I have seen some crazy, like vintage looking garbage looking sneakers like that, but I do like say the the Levi's Jordan Four, okay? That brand new versus when you do take some sandpaper to it and kind of distress it and give it that look. I like that look better than a brand new pair of Levi's right. Fours. Okay. I like that distressed look. It, there's something about it. I agree with you. Yeah, you know, a pair of Air Jordan Ones. You get a fresh pair of Air Jordan Ones. If you wore the shit out of yeah. those, yeah, they would look like vintage in no time. Yeah, no time at all. Right. Especially a Jordan one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but yes, when it comes to guitars, I will buy a brand new guitar and I will make it look old because I love something that looks old, but feels new. Hmm. You know, it looks old, but it like, I can, I can, I can even show you, Sean, please, please show me, educate <laughs> me, educate me on why this is the thing. This was a Fender Stratocaster <clears throat> that I got. Uh, wow. I'm going to say like eight years ago, maybe. And uh, I got it, and it was basically brand new. And I distressed it myself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at I that. did all that. I did this here. I did on the back wow. where, like, the buckle rash mm -hmm, would be. Mm -hmm. But I only put it in places where I would actually – hit like normal, my hand right, my right, hand right. would be you made it look realistic i made it yeah because what i did was i actually took some uh what do you call it oh what's a pencil made of? lead like a pencil lead, lead. Pencil. yeah yeah. i took some shavings and i put it on my arm and then i played it <laughs> oh I shit played it okay. just like i would play it just so it would leave those <laughs> right. marks on it right, so right, i would right. know where to, to go right right mm. right wow that's yeah. that's intense yeah <laughs> i mean see uh, listen i, I wanted to you want I need it to be as close to me as possible. Right. I need, I need the listeners to, to explain to me, if you're a young listener, it doesn't even matter. If you're young, old, whatever you are listening to us, I need to explain to me why, what is so important about having your shoe, your brand new pair of sneakers look like it's been destroyed. Yes. I, it's not just that it's making, they're making them look a little older. They're, I've seen like, today I, someone sent me a picture of a, a, a dunk. I, I think it's like the, the Michigan dunk. It's like the yellow and navy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the toe box looked like it, it had just been shredded with sandpaper, and uh, it, it, they made the like all around the the midsole, the white midsole was yellow, but there was like dark brown glue, pretend glue, pretend glue stains oh. all around it. And it's wow. like, dude, man, like just wear your sneakers. It, it's gone from I want to wear my you should everybody should wear their sneakers to I want my sneakers to look like they've been worn, <laughs> but I don't want to put in that. <laughs> but they're work. not really being worn. Yeah. Like, why do you want them to look like they're 30 years old that badly? And don't pay someone to do it, you know? <laughs> this is, well, this is, somebody texted me too or, or DM me on Instagram. And we were having a little, because I went and when I posted that on the, on the OG Support Group page, so they were, we were getting a bunch of DMs sort of like on my side or our side. Because all the OG Support Group guys feel the same way but as, yeah. as I do. But there was a guy said to me in, I think it was the UK, there are people who pay like 500 euros to have it. Maybe it wasn't the UK. They don't, uh, they don't do euros. Oh, but 500 euros to get this done to their sneakers. And I'm like, just wear them and it'll happen, man. It may not happen overnight, but it'll happen. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Anyway, very strange. Very strange phenomenon that's going on right now. I don't get it. It's the well, new world you know, we live in. Well, on the one hand, uh, like Sean said, do whatever you want. They're your sneakers. Yeah, do whatever it's you just want. The, the the mindset yeah the, like the why behind it that i'm interested in um because i you know i take offense is, is that the right word i when people say wear your sneakers i'm like shut up man let me yeah, do yeah, what i, I want to do i'm the same way i'm the same way <laughs> okay maybe yeah. not shut up but you know what in i'm fact, saying in fact and someone tells me to wear my sneakers i usually feel like i don't want now i don't really no, i don't want to wear a sneakers. <laughs> i was gonna wear those tomorrow but now i'm not wearing them maybe for another Just, five years why not yeah, spite <laughs> yeah so there's yeah. the people that say wear your sneakers and then there's the people that are like well i want to make them look like they're worn yeah, so, like not even just worn, but like like I said, 
like waterlogged. Mm. <laughs> like maybe a bit of mold got on them. Somehow. I'm making like, them look mean. <laughs> yeah, like awful. I don't. You need get it. someone get that it. that really likes that uh, <clears throat> that look to to come come speak to us. Yes, I'd love to hear that. from uh, the, the perspective of somebody yeah, who yeah, into this yeah. and why they like it. Because it wasn't that long ago that a yellowing sneaker was like frowned upon. <laughs> yeah, people like were like, "Oh, they're paint. yellow. Look, yeah, they're yeah. yellow." Now it's like the yellower the better, and let's like fucking destroy them with some sandpaper too. Yeah, I don't it, get it. I mean, the whole when I was coming up, the whole keeping your sneakers crisp yes. was the whole yes. thing. Like yes. keeping them thing for me. right and then cleaning them as much as possible like i'm not even that type of dude right i don't i don't need I, to keep I mine crisp i like, I like that's mine. it Dep- depending on the pair i have pairs i love how they look beat up but i know i've beaten them up over the um, course of 15 20 years whatever it's been yeah and i even with my friends uh, at the Ocean support group uh there's a lot of our guys are vintage collectors i'm not a vintage collector i like to buy because i i want i buy with the intent of wearing my sneakers i understand the reasoning behind buying vintage you want to preserve history and owning the original pair with all you know original releases but i don't like how it looks i don't for me when i see a sneaker that's yellowed and it's, it's deteriorating it's deteriorating i, I don't like yeah. that it just it depresses me when i see it so why people are purposely doing this to their sneakers i don't, I don't get it maybe so someone if please it's educate me for display only no yeah, at, because no. look there's yeah. a dude there's a dude that uh, i follow on uh, instagram uh, 19.85 yes, 85 yeah yeah, yeah. he recently he but he recently picked up uh, an og new uh, jordan one natural yes. gray neutral yes. gray but it's an og pair right and he, he for him it's like i i got one of my grail which is i and totally I don't want, get that right I totally get that and it 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 is it does look old and it does look fucking awesome it does. that way but it it's because it's for me it's real right like it's yes. even more so looks well, cool that's it and yeah. i just and i just saw someone who posted uh, i don't remember the name i won't, i won't, I wouldn't shut them out anyway because i'm going to yeah, crash yeah, yeah. the post but uh <laughs> they got the 2021 version of the neutral gray yeah and they made the entire upper yellowed the entire upper looks like it's beige now yeah and then it's also got like brown around the collar and brown around the midsole. It's like, dude, man, what, that's I don't like know. People are this is like a coveted sneaker, and you're like destroying it. Yeah. Now, yeah. I guess people like that look, but the other thing is, if you're wanting it to look vintage, like if you want a, a Jordan Fire Red Four to look vintage, everybody who anybody who knows what a vintage Jordan Four looks like, a real mm-hmm. 1989 Jordan Four looks like knows that your sneaker is in 2020 version because you can spot the differences right so you just made a new retro look old that's all you've done it doesn't look like it's a vintage sneaker it looks like a, a, a shitty new sneaker <laughs> this is an 81 honda how dare you <laughs> <laughs> it's true and no panda <laughs> oh man all right well, well you know. sean Triggered. I'm let's triggered. not yeah let's not give you an aneurysm or anything like that i'm let's, cool uh, i'm cool calm down calm I down for entertainment your right? pills you not entertained your pills <laughs> i am entertained <laughs> garth your pills yeah there you go very nice I just watched Wayne's world last night by the way amazing That's epic. <laughs> so good so good um uh, all right let's move on to a little bit of addy talk a lot going on in the adidas world these days um uh because we've had our of course our aqua or the mm. ZX8000, part of the AZX uh, campaign, we had the uh, Lego collab. And Lego has turned into a massive collab, not only with originals, but now with sports performance as well, Mm -hmm. uh, with kid shoes. Um, uh, And now we're getting an Ultra Boost DNA Lego. And boys, this is releasing, uh, I believe it's April, April 8th. I believe. Yeah. Um, this this shoe, boys, I saw for the first time in hand today. <laughs> the packaging is like unboxing a new MacBook. Oh wow. shit! Yeah. Wow. So everyone, if you know that feeling, if you're listening to this and you know that feeling, that's the feeling I got when I opened the box for the first time. Mm. Uh, there's a lot going on. There's so m- you you can actually put Lego pieces onto the actual shoe which is insane. It comes with like like a hundred and something uh, pieces. I think it comes with like a hundred really? something pieces that uh, you can like mix and match colors. Of course, red, blue, green, uh, yellow. Uh, the insole is all like 
Lego kind of blocks. It almost looks like the like your. Remember back in the day when you'd have like the tables, you know, the, yes, you build yes. your Legos on. Yes, yeah. yeah. It looks like that, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, really cool, really cool to see uh, a collaboration like this. Of course, there is rumored to be more ZX eight thousands coming down the tube so stay hmm. tuned lego zx 8000 lego zx 8000 wow. in different shit. colors well, well i think they're wow. going to be one for each block color so you're going to have a red well green, i'm going to buy blue. the nike mega yep. blocks of course you are <laughs> everyone knows mega blocks can't keep up with mike are you going to go for a pair uh now that i've seen them yes because i i find this would be a pair that i'd like to just put up on the shelf ah oh, there you go uh, if i wish them. i yeah. do have one thing i would have changed uh the around the toe box area uh like the mud guard around the toe it's both silver on both feet i would have made one red and one blue mm. or just like mix match that and it would have set it off in my opinion right um uh but yeah if you definitely have the chance to look at it or see it go check it out you yeah, fix that with some sandpaper <laughs> Yeah, I mean, these maybe under the silver old. layer, there's a color. Hey, maybe you never these know. you can make look old in no time. I just like how you can really <laughs> you can customize this so much with that addition of adding Lego blocks on the inside, and you put the blocks on the inside so it doesn't fall off. Yeah, which is also uh, genius. Yeah, did, did you were you surprised that there are more um, silhouettes to this collab? I was after the original because all I heard was that we, we were going to get that 8,000. And then I heard there might be some kids apparel. And I was like, okay, that's cool. But then there started to be like kids yeah. sneakers. And then yeah. I'm like, okay, well, enough with the kids. Give the adults some stuff. <laughs> you know, I'm just waiting for it. But the fact that this showed up in the shop today, I was able to check it out. Oh, my goodness. What a nice shoe. Very, very nice. It's really yeah. nice. Go check it out, guys, if you can. Uh, another something that is coming down the pipeline that is releasing, I believe, the 30th of this month. It, whoa. Oh, hot mic. What's that? Sorry about that. Is that the dog myself. barking? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, nice. I next thought that was get, a wolf. Next yeah. time, get it, get it right up on that mic there, bud. Next time, yeah. yeah. Um, right in uh, it. <laughs> so there's an overkill ZX8500. Hundred huh. now, when I say eighty five hundred, you're like, what the hell is that? That's right. It's not, a, it's not an eight thousand, and it's not a nine thousand. It's an eighty five hundred. Oh wow! Um, uh, really, really cool colorway with this collab with Overkill. Uh, the details are fantastic. Uh, no stripes on the medial side. Um, very colorful: pink, purple, yellows, like a yellowish kind of volty green in a way, mm -hmm. and some grays. Uh, what's really cool about this is comes with extra laces everyone so oh super excited about now that i think it comes with three extra pairs which is sick and it comes with like a gator that goes over your over the shoe like over the shroud of the shoe and uh to protect it from like weather and stuff like that which is super cool because it almost turns them into mids hmm. which i thought was really sick i gotcha all right i can so, see that. uh overkill branding on the heels on the tongue uh, of course, with the Adidas branding. Really, really cool. I'm I don't know uh, if you can say or if you know when a, a model like an 8500 gets uh, made, do you think it's at the request of the collaborator or it's like Adidas always had that in mind? I don't know. I don't know. That's a great question, though. Hmm. That's what I do. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> Boys, I'll just show you, uh, I'll show you a picture of the shoe here if you can see it. Yep. Yeah, that's the shoe. See it on the YouTubes. Really nice. Mm -hmm. And then here it is with the gator on it. What, what the fuck? The whole different shoe. Exactly. What the hell? And it's got the OK branding from Overkill. So uh, really cool. The shoes. Yeah, really that's nice. cool. And so many pairs of laces. <clears throat> can, can you take the gator and put it on any shoe? Uh, I'll be able to put it on any ZX8000. Right. That's for sure. You Ooh. know? So that's sick just to have for like especially for myself going into work or something like that a lot of walking sometimes it's raining out that could like be perfect coat for shoes yeah that's exactly what it is it's a poncho for your feet trench coat trench coat yeah, yeah coincidentally cool uh overkill great song by men at work 80s song hey there you go mm. I, I was born in the 80s yeah you were weren't you like yeah. at the very end Since of the, the 80s last six months of it 
Wow. Um, uh, moving on. More ZX talk. Yep, that's right. Oh, ZX shit. 8000. It's being dubbed the out there. Now, Chris, this is a shoe that uh, I'm pretty excited about because there's just so many different options i love when shoes come with like accessories yeah. and like stash pockets and the tongues and like stuff like that and velcro when you could just velcro different stuff on this is really really cool it's uh, like a uh zx sneaker got a tactical vest that's on. what it that's what mm, it right? looks exactly. like a lightweight tactical vest exactly right it's very utility yes you know? yes yes utility. i don't mind it at all i do not mind it at all so uh, the, uh, it's got an all like canvas, kind of like duck kind of canvas on it, uh, upper. It still looks like it's ZX8000. It's got a gum sole. It's got like a cream specked midsole, uh, like a tiger camo inside the collar of the shoe, which is really cool. Uh, looks like it's come with extra la- laces, but the <laughs> patches on it, uh, it's going to come with a bunch of different patches. It'll say London. It'll, one will say Paris. One will say 1989. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a bunch of other stuff on there too. But uh very very nice and it looks like uh it's gonna be a i think it's hitting retail around april 9th so you know, yeah podcast yeah, this week yeah. shit's coming out oh this week yeah so it's much stuff heavy. coming out heavy week. out there sorry mike i don't know is out there like a, a designer a boutique no it's just being dubbed just the name it, right that's just the name that's what it's being dubbed the name uh or uh out there sorry um yeah the tiger camo little hits on the inside very nice tasteful very tasteful. Mm-hmm. But uh, this is a very tactical shoe. We'll see what happens. I'm seeing consortium only in my oh, see. That's That's how I see this future for this. If I looked into my, my crystal ball over here. Um, uh, but another, we're kind of still going on the ZX train. More Adidas talk, guys. <laughs> This is a heavy week. Heavy week. Uh, Everyone knows I'm a big fan. (laughs) What did you you say? Nothing. 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 I actually almost bought a pair of Adidas last week. Just saying. Almost. It's always almost. Yeah, but but because I I realized I hate Adidas. But uh, would you just text me next time so I can at least like sway you? I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste your time. I did, actually oh. did text you. I asked you what the, the quality is. The Forum 84, but in the in the mid-cut version of the, the white and blue. Oh, there. yes. Yes, sorry. Uh, yeah, and I, I did yeah. text you and asked you if, what the quality is like, and you said not as good as the uh, It's not. It's not. The other one. Yeah, do, it's do you know what the Sean, men- fantastic. Sean mentioning to us every week that he almost bought an Adidas reminds me of Jimmy Kimmel <laughs> telling Matt Damon, sorry, we just <laughs> <Yeah>. ran out <laughs> of time. <laughs> That's My right. Apologies That's for right. Matt Damon. We ran That's out right. of time. And I can actually, and I can verify. I actually told you what the model was. And I actually almost bought. It's true. Um, uh, are you a fan of the low of that? Would you wear a low? No, no, no. I want. I, the only reason the I would buy it is, is because Michael Jordan wore it in the uh, pre-Olympic yeah. trials. Right. There. That's right. But uh, the uh, eighty-four low is also same quality as the eighty-four. Yes, high. I saw those. Really They're nice. available. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I want. I would. I would want those. The ones that didn't release in Canada. There, the white and blue ones. The high. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah. so uh, work on that, Mike. I'll, I'll work on it. I'll talk to some people. Excellent. You know, we'll have my people, people call reach my people. out to those people. Excellent. Uh, Continue with your long list of Adidas sneakers you're talking thank about. Thank you. Because right? after, there's nothing left for you, bud. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> uh, everyone knows I'm a big fan of the ZX8000, ZX8000 Aqua, Consortium Aqua, Light Aqua. Uh, just the Aqua colorway in general is, uh, holds a very good uh, sentiment with uh, adidas and now they're coming mm. out with a ultra boost uh 1.0 in a aqua colorway now i love 1.0 love yeah. the materials love the colorway uh this is like a uh super scoop as our boys in cgs would oh. call it super scoop. oh I like it. I like it so much. I like yeah. that the, the the whole pack has the uh, ZX9000 colorway as well on an Ultra exactly. Boost, right? So I don't nice. know what the last colorway is. Uh, it's another ZX sneaker. I think maybe a 6000. Anyway, I'm focused on Aqua. Right. <laughs> um, I feel like they're beautiful. I feel like they're maybe two years late. Thank you. Yep. Right? I totally agree. Yeah. I agree. 100%. Two years late. They they would have gone, people would have gone bananas. Like yep. I just heard of it this week that they're releasing, and they're releasing this week. Exactly. There's no like preemptive. No, it's no just, build up. No build yeah, up. Yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. gonna be like, yeah, here you go. Um, with with all the Aqua talk over the past like two years, with the re- the release of both the eight thousands, uh, the premium slides as well, and the Aqua colorway came out. Yep. Uh, we had. <clears throat> 
the ZX Fury uh, that just released in the Aqua colorway. Aqua's hitting very hard in the past two years. Mm. Um, the fact that they're coming out, and I agree, this should have came out way earlier than right now. But uh, the fact that it's coming out at all is fantastic. It should have came True. out before the 4D. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Or, or all together. Like the 4D Aqua you're talking about too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of them one Back after the other. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, exactly. You could you could have done a, a month or two like that. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. You know, release something. Twenty six pairs of aqua. Aqua season. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, very excited about this shoe. Chloe, would you rock aqua? You be. I I still want the four Ds. I don't know mm. why. Maybe okay. it's because I don't own a pair, and I'm like, maybe that should be my first pair. I mean, do you want my opinion on four Ds? Yes, please. I don't like them at all. Okay. Um, <laughs> I I'm was putting I, it blunt. No, what it is is the break-in period takes forever. It takes literally gotcha. 24 hours to uh, really break in a pair of 4Ds. So you won't feel that comfort for a while. And how okay. often are you going to wear a pair of 4Ds for an extended period of time? So that break-in period is extended now from 24 hours of wear to could be 24 days. Well, you know? days of work. And, you know, we're already in the no, 5G, right? So, like, who cares about 4 Oh, I mean, I haven't been poked <laughs> with 5G yet. Pardon me. We'll get there. Yeah. Maybe I should go for the UB then. Yeah. Uh, very, yeah. I'm just telling you. Um, you know Boost rather than the 4D. They'll sure. probably, That's my opinion just because so of comfort-wise. You know, I, think, I, I think you won't get it. You're, no, you won't. No. You're, you're, you're appreciate the, uh, a triple white UB guy. Yeah. You're gonna, or I'm the gray. Already, I'm already That's, done for pickups this year. Anyways. Yes. <laughs> you're way past four <laughs> uh, yeah yeah all right guys uh that has what has been flooding our feeds did sorry, we, no, sorry no did, did we, we what did, did summer, we, summer of jordan go, oh. i mean sure. i was just gonna skip it just to make sean angry <laughs> <laughs> you son of I've, been, the... I've been tuned out for the last half hour so okay well <laughs> now it's my time now it's my turn to tune out sean there the floor you is yours oh thank you yeah jordan's are coming out <laughs> <laughs> that is what has been flying out. Jordan- <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Newsflash: There's a lots of Jordans coming out this spring. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. So there's a whole list of stuff, but I think I, I my most excited about is unfortunately a women's release. Uh, it's the white and uh, I guess core purple, metallic purple. I'm not sure what mm, they're called. Yeah, uh, it's an OG colorway, but they've made it for just women and. Uh, the only thing I don't like about them, though, is the, the wing, Wings logo is pretty small, but I guess that's because it's a women's release. Right. Um, that's pro- a lot of ones, as usual. Uh, I like the... Um, th- there's a Jordan 11 low. I think it's called the Citrus. So it's yes. like a white upper, and then the bottom right. is like an orange. Yeah, I, so, I like yeah. that one a lot. That's yeah, very summery. Very gr- good summer shoe. Yeah. Good summer yeah. shoe. Yeah. Um, I like All those. Purple metallic, man. Yeah. 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 Those are super yeah. nice. I or, think that's um, their... their, their their main release for the summer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Hot it mic. looks like it. Yeah. You know? I, some people are excited about those, the Jordan 7, uh, what are those, the Flints, I guess they're called? With the, the like Flint gray with purple like purple hits. I'm not a fan of those. I don't know. People, uh, but I've seen a lot of people on Instagram, uh, they're excited about them, and I'm, I'm, I don't call, feel those. Color blocking is kind of it's black. A, it's a re-release of a sneaker that I think came out in 2006, 2007, around there. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, when's the last uh, good Jordan 7? To have released the Bordeaux 2015, Bordeaux, 2015. Bordeaux yeah, I guess great, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, what about the okay, Hyper Royal? Okay, <laughs> I, I don't know why another? they're calling those. Hyper why Royal. do they keep... I don't understand there why they're calling those? Are they called Hyper Royals? Because they are, Hyper they're Royal. called Hyper Royal. I'm like, what? That's not Hyper Royal. There's nothing that already? Royal on them. There's nothing anything, on Royal on them, though. They're very, do we have a Hyper Royal yeah. already. There's yes. been three, four of them, <laughs> but at least Jordan they were actually royal. There's nothing royal on these sneakers. Yeah, and there's nothing hyper about it because it's kind of like dulled no. out, right? Why don't they should have called these Turbo wash. Blue? Stonewash, yeah. Stonewash is a they good. They should have uh, called these Turbo And blue. ironically, the actual Turbo Blues were green. <laughs> they're like a, Tur- they're Turbo like, Green was. <laughs> yeah, all right. Turbo, turbo Green were, turbo were, were, turbo green. Blue, <laughs> or light blue. <laughs> or light blue ish. Oh my God. Yeah. So many colors. Doing it laser blue how about that eh? <laughs> yeah exactly oh so many different kinds of blue yeah uh what about uh the shadow 2.0s anybody I mean, feeling those no i i would wear shadow 2.0s 
I okay, think it would be a good wear. Shoe. As the Adidas guy, you would wear Shadow Hoop. I'm just like, it's, it's, a, it's a shoe that you could beat up. But yeah. can you see the difference between the shadows and those metallics for a second? What do you Metall- mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just take a look at the, just, yeah, the picture that we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. a look at it. It's just like the Wings logo is so Well, yeah, but that one's, one's yeah. a, a women's release, one's a, yeah. a, a men's release. Yeah, keep up, Mike. Uh, I mean, I'm <laughs> what I'm saying, late. the Jordan One patina released, right? And it has that gray suede yeah. uh, collar, patina. yeah, heel, and yeah. it kind of looks like a half of this 2.0. This 2.0 shadow to me should not even have the name shadow in it. No, it the shadow, shadow, the shadow that we all know and love has yeah. its place. It doesn't even resemble it in any way, no, the material wise and the, the color blocking. So. Just call and it and even the uh, the shade of gray is not shadow. Like, no. It's not shadow. It's not lighter. shadow gray. Call it a barren 2.0. Uh, maybe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot lighter than more shadow, appropriate the gray that you use. And on what's a uh, what's the color of a shadow? It's like dark. Uh, it's like dark. Yeah. Right. Darker. Gray. Yeah, it's yeah. not the gray that they're referencing. This is like a light, light gray. <laughs> yeah. It's almost it's like like close. That's almost white. Yeah. Hyper gray. How about that? Hyper gray. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Hyper gray. Laser yeah, yeah, yeah. Laser green. Tur- blazer. The Turbo. Turbo. What they're what they're calling the white Oreo fours are pretty. They're pretty nice. Those uh, are pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. The Jordan fours are really nice. Yeah. It's the yeah. Nicest yeah. pair on, on that whole. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. That, that, they're that, made like the, the Oreo ones. Then. Okay, if oh. you have that uh, Oreo white Oreo in your closet, right next to a pair of white cements, what are you? That's doing? the thing. I'm going white cement. Yeah, That's white why I wouldn't get them. I, I would always go to the white cements. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You'll still get a pair. Don't buy it. <laughs> no, no, I won't. I won't. I won't. No, I, I, I hope. I'm hoping the, the, the purple ones are coming in extended sizes because I want extended, those. Extended, Ex- like, super extended. Yeah, There's size 13 size, women's. Like, yeah. 12 and 13, a half yeah. women's. 12 and a half women's would be good. The That's what they did with the uh, Alayli May yeah. release. Oh, yeah. the, the, the boutiques that got it in Canada, the sizing was eight women's to 13 women's yeah there was wow. there was some even the air maxes i think it was the air max 90s or the air max threes whatever they were uh went up to like size 18 women's <laughs> yeah <I> was, uh, <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> yeah anyways yeah yeah all right. so that's all what's right. been flooding our feeds <laughs> hey <laughs> way to round it off there Sean. Right. finish strong finish strong. real sneakers real sneakers um, so uh go for so, it yeah, recently we've been on a um, a podcast called the What the What the Canada podcast that was yes, part of that yes. sneaker convos thing. Fun uh, out. Shout out Nick. Shout out Nick Engvall. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Joe too. We gotta get Ken Joe. Shout out Joe. Joe. Shout out Joe. Sneaker Joe. History. The crew. He's the they, one who really listens to every every episode. He's gonna be crying <laughs> if you don't mention. His I'm name. sorry, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm Joe comes first. We did kind of mention at one point that every now and then we get so t- uh, caught up in our inside jokes on this podcast that uh, most of the episodes are about our inside jokes. Yeah, possibly. We forget that maybe there are some new listeners or new sneakerheads coming into uh, coming onto the scene and they tune into this podcast and are like, what the heck are these guys talking about? So um, I thought of a cool way for us to kind of reset is to imagine if we were coming into a sneaker culture today and what would we go for? What type of uh, sneaker collector would we be? What type of brands would we be into? Like I thought it a bit interesting because it forces us to really look at how sneakers are being released these days. And we don't have, I don't know, the years of us trying out different brands, different sneakers to find out really what we like. So we're just going off face value and what we're seeing on social media now. We didn't have social media when most of us got into sneakers, mm-hmm. right? Accurate <clears throat> enough? Oh, Mike did. Mike did. Mike did. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us didn't have the internet. Is a baby. So right. <laughs> dial up. So um, let, let's try this out. Let's see what happens. Maybe we have a few questions for each other and we'll go from there. I like that. I think if, if for me, if, if I'm like the same personality, right. uh, but drop me, you know, 40 years later, <laughs> uh, I've, I'm, oh, I've always been someone who needs to feel some sort of connection to something. Uh, even, well, even if it's a sport, uh, if it's a sports team, I'm, I'm, I'm involved or not involved in, but uh, 
it's supporting or mm -hmm. uh, rooting for, I have to feel some sort of connection. So I, I like, I like the Yankees because my dad's from New York city. I have that connection. Uh, I've been to many games, blah, blah, blah. So I think for me, if I was dropped into this era, I would still need to feel that connection. So for me, when I got into basket to sneakers, it was all because of basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was because of Michael Jordan and that, but it was all because I played basketball. Initially, I, I was like, I wanted to have the sneakers that Magic Johnson was wearing. So I guess if you drop me into this era, I would probably, whatever basketball player would be my favorite. If it was LeBron James, I'd want his sneakers. Uh, there God, were no Raptors when God you started. Forbid. Yeah, no Raptors. <laughs> there were no Raptors, Raptors, right? So maybe I'd be a Raptors fan. I wouldn't even know. Maybe because back then, I, you know, we were all free agents in Canada because we yep. didn't have a Canadian basketball team. Um, so, and Michael Jordan. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I think I, I would do, I, I think I would still be that I would still be like trying to connect with the athletes, uh, or maybe it would be artists too. Like I, I, I'm, I'm big into music. So maybe it would be the artist would draw me into mm. because that was what like, we would, when artists were involved, they weren't really involved in sneakers nope. back when we right. were growing up, they would wear sneakers and we would see them wearing Jordans or Nikes or Adidas, whatever on, uh, album covers and stuff or in magazines. But they were, it wasn't like, I think maybe, um, you know, Run DMC were the only hip hop mm. artists that had a sneaker uh, deal at some point. Um, but besides that, uh, it wasn't like th there, there was no, there were no collabs and stuff like that. So right. maybe now I would be into, you know, Travis Scott or whatever, because I really like his music and uh, that would make me want to buy the sneakers. So I, I, that respect, I get why kids uh, are drawn to those types of collabs these days. But so mm -hmm. for me, I don't think I, I, I would it just be, I would be tied to whatever, I would be into in terms of sports, music, and that kind of thing. Right. And yeah. I, I would piggyback right off that, Sean. I like how you put that. Like artists have such an impact, especially on like the kids these days and stuff yeah. like, and going that way. But uh, I would, I would feel the same way. Like uh, nowadays I'm starting to see a lot more uh, bands and stuff like that wearing like Yeezys and stuff on stage. And I'm mm. just like, wow that's so weird because <laughs> yeah. like back when i was playing in a band and stuff like everyone was wearing chuck taylor's everyone was just right. wearing chucks all the time but like to see people in uh yeezys all the time but now i've kind of like oh okay you guys are just following a trend you know that's what yes. you're doing they're right. like following that trend but they're also setting that trend for kids and for you know under influenced people yeah, yeah. um actually, uh, sorry sorry mike just because you said the whole rock star thing I was watching wrestling. I haven't watched wrestling in ages, but mm -hmm. somehow SmackDown was on TV. They're fucking wrestling in Jordan. Yeah, well, that's the <laughs> yeah. thing. No more yeah. wrestling Shane yeah. yeah. Shane McMahon was is massive fuck? sneakerhead. Yeah. Like, huge Jordan huge 1 guy. Huge Jordan 1 guy. Yeah. Like more so than, I don't know, more so than Chris, but, you know. Oh, he's not 100%. <laughs> Shane, no, it, it wasn't Shane. It big, was like other wrestlers wearing Jordan 1s. Oh, yeah. Like, exactly. In like, the I ring. Yeah. yeah. Guys, and Nuts. nowadays, it's the thing to do, you know? It's Jordan 1s are a thing right now. But, like, uh, I, I used to watch, and, like, guys, when I was touring, uh, Zach from Shinedown, Zach Myers from Shinedown, they had a collab with Jordan Brand, and they released a Jordan Crazy. 1 at, uh, Attention, Attention from their album Attention, Attention. Wow. It's, like, a all yellowed out. Uh, it looks like a shattered backboard, but yellow. Wow. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And he's playing on stage, and, like, Jordan threes, Jordan fours, uh, you know, Jordan ones, Jordan twos. Yeah. He's that big into sneakers and you can tell he's mm -hmm. not just rocking the same pair of Yeezys every night. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the artist thing is huge these days, you know, and of course, Travis Scott uh, and every other rapper out there as a collab. Well, days. that's the thing is I think it's not, it's also because the, it seems like right now the whole world is a sneakerhead, right? It's it trendy. Like it's, it's so, it's the thing yeah, to it's, do. it's such a trend right now to be into sneakers that I think you can find now you can find just about anybody, anywhere you look, people are into sneakers. Um, I have to give this, 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 this page a shout out. I, I follow this guy on, uh, on Instagram and uh, there's a reason behind it, but he, he goes by uh, it's XX retro underscore fire xx and i guess it's retro sounds fire. I mean, dirty yeah, it's, it, it sounds dirty <laughs> but it's not but he his his whole page I've, I've mentioned him before but i couldn't remember that his, his handle but his whole page is 80s and 90s like uh heavy metal uh mm -hmm. bands. Oh, cool and and but they're all like he'll find like a guy the guitarist from anthrax wearing hair sevens in 1992 scotty uh and, you know guys from like um megadeth and like it's it's Damn all through thing. the 80s and 90s 
And uh, so, they, like, but back then, it, like I was saying before, even with the hip hop artists, it wasn't that there was a collab or a collaboration. No. Mm. It was that they just, these were cool sneakers and you could see, like, if I saw that, if I saw that, those, that picture of this guy in Anthrax, I'd be like, oh, that guy, he kind of, we were in the know now. We're in, yeah. He knows, and You're I connected. know that Jordan 2s are very cool. You're connected. Uh, so it, it wasn't a, a collaboration, but it's, 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 it's very cool to see. Um, I like, I do like how it is nowadays where you've got, artists and different kinds of artists uh, um, collaborating with brands and, and coming out with sneakers. So yeah, that, that's, that's how I would probably, again, my connection would be to, to that as well nowadays. But I'm interested in how, 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 how Clo, how, what would Clo would be now? Like if you just jumped into sneakers now. So when I, well, when I started, that. it was just pure Jordan. Mm-hmm. Pure yeah. Jordan, pure mm-hmm. Nike sportswear. That was it. Right? Yeah. If it were now, it would be more fits. It would be the, I would need a pair of uh, one pair of, of one brand, like from each brand to go with a certain fit. Like right. okay. one pair of New Balance, one pair of Yeezys, one pair of Nikes, but the hottest shit ever and just make it go with my fits. Yeah. That's it. I wouldn't mm-hmm. want overkill. I would want less is best, but really some pairs that are really versatile for the outfits. But see, I That's think it. Clo out of all of us, Clo has his sneaker dumb has evolved over time, so I think Clo would actually be who he is now. Like he's adapting. He's yeah. adapted, he's already right? adapt. Like he has adapted to like you've changed the way. Like you just said when you first started out, it was Nike Jordan, one hundred percent. Yeah. And now what you just described, what you would be, is actually who you are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I, yeah. I think I, I think that you have of all of us have evolved to the point where I think you are fitting into today's era. You are. Who I you were supposed to be. <laughs> Sean, can't that's a haiku. Bring that's it haiku. to this minimalist approach, you know, when it comes to collecting shoes. Yeah. I can't do it like back in the day where I needed every no, 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 single yeah. color to go with, yeah. every single baseball cap to go hmm. with, every uh, track Yeah, suit, the baseball cap you know? was a thing yeah. too. Or yeah. every Gap school bag that I had or headphones. <laughs> or you name it. I was that crazy with, yeah. all, that, with all, the, all the the gear. Yeah. Very cool. Just got to keep it to a minimal now. What about you, Chris? Um, I don't know. Back in the day, I I always skate culture has always fascinated me. Mm. Like mm. I think it's great. I used to like watch all the the documentaries they had, and X-Games. I always loved. It. I'm just very shitty at it. I can't skate for my life. So I think if I were coming back, uh, coming into the uh, sneaker uh, game right now, and it's weird because SB culture is coming back up trending yeah trending hot uh i think i'd be like getting into that you know because again i still have the fascination with skate culture and now it'd be like i'd have fascination with the sb culture so i'd probably go that lane and right. like without any direction or without any influence or preconception of how sneakers are i'd probably see sbs everywhere and just assume that hey this is the thing right now Right. right, SBs are a hot thing. Have always been hot, and I'd probably get into that. I'd find, <laughs> I'd probably get discouraged really quick because yeah. it's so tough, so tough to get a sneaker these days. Oh, Im- look! Imagine we're co- this is your first taste of sneakers. Yeah, and boom, the door gets gets shut in your face. Launch, yeah. launch, launch! Sold out all the yeah. time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, and it's I don't discouraging. know. Discouraging discouraging we don't we've kind of built up these uh mechanisms to deal with it and also we kind of have our ways to sometimes land sneakers that we want through years of experience through years of connecting with different people yeah you know if you're coming into the game and you're seeing this and every single freaking time it's like nope 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 how like where do you go from there and yeah pay resell buy resell just well, this is it. that's the what I was going to yeah. say is that I, I think kids have gotten to the point where are they because they've started just in this sort of era, yeah, that they're they're already just used to the fact that they gonna, they're going to have to pay re, reseller Resell. prices. Yeah. True, yeah. Uh, so, like, I I know I know people I work with, their kids are into sneakers and they're teenagers, and it they're all like paying six, seven, nine hundred dollars yeah. for sneakers, but it's because 
they're constantly flipping and trading and uh. it's it, they're, they're, they have a rotation of sneakers that are and when i say a rotation it's not a, a bunch of pairs that they're all wearing it's a rotation of i'm wearing it this week i'm going to trade it this pair for with a friend of mine because i yeah. want that pair yeah. and then i'm going to go to Centrale and i'm going to business sell off some stuff that, to buy this pair point. it's yeah i mean besides of a business even if they like the sneakers they're it's almost like a temporary thing it's a temporary mm. fix now they get the sneaker they want and then they're flipping it for something or they're they're trading it for something else or they're mm. uh it's so that for me i have to say i as much as uh it, it just is what it is nowadays i'm glad i grew up in the era that i did because i i've i've sort of like you sort of got, grew to appreciate the sneaker for what it is you you sort of sat with the sneaker for longer yeah. it just seems like either it's either the sneaker is just a commodity nowadays yeah. it's just for flipping or it's just like I, I don't they're, they're meaningless because they just I'll get this sneaker this week and then I'll yeah. trade it with my friend or I'll trade it online or I'll sell it or I'll whatever it's like it's not really a I don't know it's it's it's, it's a, a number it's, it's a number sure. at that point it's yeah monetary. um uh, wow yeah. <laughs> hmm. heavy that <laughs> guys I had a guy come in the store today and he's like oh I bought an NMD a couple of years back and paid uh, I think just over a thousand dollars for it and I went. What? what back in the day when nmds first popped off they they weren't for a lot of money that's crazy I yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, yeah yeah and which i didn't even want to pry and ask him what it was the vape i don't think so there's a vape vape nmd that's one for was high huge. there was Chanel all was these huge these uh f- f- french uh collaborations uh, japanese release type of mm-hmm. collaborations the og colorway with the red and blue block mm-hmm. like all those were all like hot hot commodities yeah. these days I, I don't know i don't know how they're doing i don't know if anyone's looking for them but yeah well, i've also you, there's not many on our wall <laughs> i've also realized that a lot of kids don't it's almost like they don't realize that sneaker there is a retail price for sneakers yeah yeah <laughs> like yeah. because I've, I'll, I'll post something a jordan one or something on my page and some a kid will say oh, i wish i could get those but they're so expensive and i'll say you know I, well i paid retail for them whatever it was 200 Total. bucks Put a little it's effort there, in. It doesn't, doesn't even compute with them. That, that, yeah. that, that, the retail price. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not what is on StockX. You know? Yeah, it's, yeah it's, exactly. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's a weird world right now. Hmm. Super weird. And you know what else is even weirder? Ending the podcast at that. It is weird. <laughs> that's yeah, a weird way to end. end. It's a weird way to end. Exactly. Uh, guys, that was fun. Wow. We went an hour and 20 minutes today. What? Mm. And guess what? Hey, guys, uh, before we go, though, it's weather like out there. Hey, you know, just black and cold. Two points are great. <laughs> Two points are great. How's the flow? The uh, yeah. you, the jet stream? How's jet the jet stream, stream yeah, treating yeah. you? I'm pretty sure I talked about this already, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about how about how about some more? How about some more weather talk then? Uh, next <laughs> week. You. Next week we can talk about what's at the front door because yeah. I think there yes. will be a little rotationary yes, motion. Yes, yes, yes. I think yeah. so too. We could have nothing uh, at the front door. I'm just seeing a lot of a lot of rain. My, not here uh, no, on my end look sunny like all week here in montreal aha that's okay Always you guys sunny take montreal. that sun enjoy it send it back down here when you're done. all right um all right let's wrap up this episode of the podcast thank you to everyone who's been listening wherever you're taking in the podcast appreciate you don't forget to follow us on the gram at the sneaker podcast big shout out to our friends over at quality check about quality.com yeah. use that coupon code pod 20 get 20 percent off your order Oh, what do you got? Is that perfect hoodie there, bud? Uh, no, no, no. This is my uh, vintage washed hoodie. Vintage washed hoodie. Very nice. Yes. By Thank you very much. It Love it. Uh, follow them on the gram at Koala T. Uh, and you can see all their fits there. Full Locker Canada. You can get them there. You can get them at our good friends over at Sam Tabak. Shout out to Sam yep. Tabak. Right. Shout uh, out to Sam Tabak. Shout out to Boys from Koala T. Boys, before we leave, where can people find you on the gram? Mr. Sean Collar. At S Collar 23 and at Ocean Support Group. And Chloe, where can people find you? at Clarell and Chris where can people find you at Christopher.chu and at Traffic Boys Traffic Boys go check out the latest episode of the Traffic Boys and also go check out the latest CGS Canada Got Soul podcast the True to Size <laughs> podcast where you, you will get a you'll get a little Chris you'll get a little Calby yeah for everyone uh, find myself at On Air with Mike D we'll catch you next uh, back here next week until then have a great day have a great night keep them laced everyone extra laces for everyone peace <laughs> peace peace, peace. <laughs>